Hey there, good people. My name is Scott, and you're watching Sword and Shield Studio. Right now, we're going to learn about a little new feature in DaVinci Resolve 17 called Render in Place. Now, what Render in Place allows you to do is select an individual clip on your edit page timeline and render it out so it plays back smoothly. Let's see how we can do it. Okay, so I'm on the edit page in Resolve where I have this fusion composition with a taxing smoke particle effect that I can't exactly scrub through in real time. You see when I play this back, it gets snagged every couple seconds. It doesn't play back in real time. If I'm satisfied with what I have here, no, I'm not going to change it. I can render in place by right-clicking it and hitting render in place from the menu that pops up. And if your installation of Resolve 17 is bug free, at this point you should get a menu where you could choose the format and resolution to render the composition. But if nothing happens, like in my case, don't fear as there is a workaround for now. You just have to right click your clip and create a new compound clip from the drop down menu name it whatever you like and hit create and then you should be able to right click it and hit render in place and the menu should properly pop up for the format and codec for this one i'm just going to leave it as the default and under where it says type match the resolution of your clip in this case this clip is just 720p so i'll keep it as that and i'll hit render and I'm going to save this rendered out file on my desktop. You can save it wherever you'd like. And we will let Resolve do its thing. Okay, now I can play this rendered clip back in real time without any hiccups. As it's a fully rendered clip. If you decide later on that you want to change something with the clip, you can go back to the non-rendered version by right-clicking the clip and hit Decompose to Original from the menu. And then if you had to create a compound clip as a workaround like I did, to return to the original clip, all you have to do is right-click the compound clip and hit Decompose in place from the menu. And we are back to our original fusion composition here. Render in place is a feature that goes under the radar among all the new features introduced in DaVinci Resolve 17, but I think it's one of the most useful. It allows you to ease the workload on your computer for clips that you know you're not going to change. I hope you find it useful in your own projects. If you do, please consider subscribing to the channel where I upload a video just like this one every week. In addition, Sword and Shield Studio goes live every Sunday night on YouTube, where I'll be answering your questions and working on something fun in Fusion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.